August 12th, 2021, and this video is called Conjoined Leaves. Now, yesterday we had a massive storm that came through and it blew leaves all over the place. And as I was taking some weeds to the compost pile, this leaf was kind of like staring me in the face. And I thought it was kind of cool because out of the tens of thousands and probably hundreds of thousands of leaves on the trees in the garden, look which one happened to blow in my path and land on the ground. Now this was yesterday and it's already starting to uh, decay and turn brown, but I did get some pictures of it fresh. Now, it kind of stumps me because usually I'm pretty good at leaf identification in, in trees, but this is a honeysuckle leaf, and but the leaf seems really thick compared to this one. So I don't know what species, genus, this conjoined leaf is but it's definitely conjoined it's definitely genetic blasphemy it's definitely a misguided mitosis it's definitely crashing chromosomes so this is I don't know how these like Sometimes, possibly, is there a branch? I doubt it. This is definitely the genetic code is not right with this, and that's how you get these mutations. So I'm gonna try to lay this flat and get it to dry up so I have another mutation to add to the mutant museum. But check it out. We'll try to get kind of close in here. You can see definitely it's called the midrib, which is the middle leaf or the middle vein in uh, the leaves. And there's definitely two of them. You can see down here it splits. Now, I don't know if this is two stems which I doubt it, which would be interesting. So this is where they split out and you have two separate leaves that are connected together. Isn't that wild? Now if this is happening to plants, wouldn't you think it's happening to humans also? Now, if only plants could talk, we would be able to get some insight of what's actually causing this. But I think you know what my theory is. And that's it. That would normally be the one leaf right there, but for some reason, it decided to grow two in the same space as one. So look around your lawn, look around your garden, try to find them yourself, and let's document this genetic blasphemy.